All right. Uh, what we're trying to do here is uh, upgrade the firmware for the Samsung Infuse 4G from uh, Froyo to Gingerbread to Spot 3, Spot 5. Uh, it's a new leak that that's there on samfirmware.com, and uh, what uh, I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm gonna run you through the process of updating the firmware on the phone. Uh, if you if you uh, look at the screen right now on the vid, you can see that the phone is currently on the download mode. Uh, to do that, what you need to do is uh, turn off the phone and uh, take out the battery. Uh, once you put the battery in, you need to uh, press the up and the down keys of the volume and simultaneously you need to uh, insert the USB uh, uh, USB cable in into the phone uh, once you do that uh, you can uh, upgrade the firmware now what, what you need to do is essentially you need to have uh, Samsung keys installed on your computer and uh, this is Samsung keys mini because uh, the international version of Samsung keys would not work uh, with this phone uh, what you need to do is uh, once you uh, once you are in the download mode ensure that your phone is properly recognized by the computer because if it don't in that case uh, this upgrade might break your phone alright and uh, what I have here is I have the update version out here it's if you can see the file try and zoom here yep that's the version alright uh, once your phone is properly recognized by the computer it should show up something of this sort and finally you need to have Odin remember this upgrade is Odin flashable it's not a final release it's just uh, a leak and try and get some focus here all right if you see I am currently running Odin version 1 spot 81 all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show if your phone is is on the download mode it should it should sh it should show this particular screen and if everything is fine it should detect the COM port as well alright now remember to just select the the file using the PDA option and uncheck everything everything that you can see on the screen the only thing that needs to be checked is the auto reboot and then click on start it's caching Alright, uh, you should see the phone is being updated and you can see the progress bar on the phone as well. You can see the progress bar on the phone as well. You can see the same progress bar on your computer screen. I'm having some focus issues here. Alright, let's wait for some time. It's gonna take about two to three minutes to update the phone.
This is the progress bar on the phone. So almost done. It's almost there. Almost there. Says pass. The phone is rebooting. The phone is rebooting. The rainbow screen. There you go. Back to the desktop. Okay, no problem. Okay, with that. Media scanner running. All right. Um, as you all know, we have uh, updated the phone. However, 
just wanted to let you know that the, the update that we have is not the final release it's just a leak I'm gonna turn on the phone now it's turning on try and get my focus straight yep it's turning on see that rainbow screen I'm hoping that that's not gonna be on the final release it's gonna take me to the boot screen everything possible too bright for my camera I get the focus straight yeah takes me to the rainbow screen once again and you have the 2.3.5 screen there yep that's the theme that's on the media scan is running it's a couple of messages just gonna ignore it for the moment and I'm gonna that's my email client. I think I need to set it up once again. I'm gonna try and reduce the brightness of the screen. Oh, it's too bright. I'll probably set it to the auto. Yeah, auto mode's on, so no, that's that's better. Yeah. If you look at the notification bar, I think that's changed a lot. If you just drag this down. Oh, some crap free tunes. Not interested. All right. None of my stuff has gone. Everything's there, and. Alright, that's my mail client once again. I think I need to set it up. Go to settings, about phone, firmware. There you go. Firmware has been updated. Need to turn that off. Alright, thank you.